In the last video, A Sip of God, we have seen Shwedketu, the son of Udalga, having returned home after graduating from a renowned university, wanted to show his intellectual prowess to his father. Hence, he asked Uddalka to ask him anything. Instead, Uddalka asked him, Shwetketu, you have studied many subjects. But did you learn that secret knowledge by which everything is known? Shwetketu could not answer. Hence, Uddalka told him, that is God. And he is present everywhere, like salt is in salty water. Shwetketu understood, but he still wanted to see and experience, just as he experienced the taste of salt. Hence, Uddalka promises him to explain, after he returns from Varanasi. Now, further. Respected Father, as you promised before leaving for Varanasi, will you please explain me, how can I know God? Bring me a fig from that tree. Break it open and tell me what is inside. It has hundreds of small seeds. Take one seed and break it. Now, what is inside? Nothing, of course. See, my dear, even then, a huge tree grows from this small seed. Hmm. But what does it have to do with knowing God? See, you found nothing in this seed. But you have faith that the fig tree standing there has grown from one such seed. Right? So, similarly, when you see the whole world full of intelligent beings, itself following an order, then definitely it should have arisen from some such intelligent seed. And that seed has to be God. But how do I find Him? In your mind, behind all the activities you do every day, from eating to playing to studying, there are thoughts. Now think, who is giving you the power to think? Life I am alive and therefore, I can think and act, and so life is behind all my thoughts. Yes, correct. That very life, which is hidden in every thought, is the life in all beings. That life, my dear Shwet Ketu, is God, and also that life is you. Have you understood now? Yes, Father. Now I understand that we all are God alone. Our bodies, thoughts, feelings might be different, but behind it, the life is one. And as long as we forget the difference and focus on that life in all, 
then the whole world is revealed as nothing but God. And I too am that. With this, Shvetketu's inquiry of God ended. But, has ours? Let us all try to sit quietly and focus on that God who shines in all of us as our life and as the life of all.